You've made it past candlesticks, patterns, and trends to the final technical analysis element in our course, indicators. Ready to jump in? Then let's go. Indicators apply mathematical formulas to a stock's price action to generate buy and sell signals. Some formulas are simple, others are more complex. Fortunately, WebBroker does the math for you, meaning you can use them even if you're new to trading or didn't do so well in high school math. Indicators can be classified as upper or lower. Upper indicators are overlaid on a stock chart. Lower indicators appear below it. In this video, we'll tackle two popular trend indicators overlaid on the stock chart. You may have already heard stock analysts mention moving averages. Here's what they mean. A simple moving average, or SMA, tells traders the direction a stock is trending. It shows the average value of a stock's price over time, so it smooths out noise from shorter-term price action to give traders a clearer picture. Buy and sell signals are generated at price crossovers. When the stock price trades above its average price, meaning the candlesticks cross above the SMA, this is a bullish signal. It means that the price is trending up, which could be interpreted as a buy signal. However, keep in mind that a stock selling above its average price may soon be ready for a correction and reverse course. In this case, we could also interpret it as a sell signal. On the flip side, when the stock price trades below its average price, meaning the candlesticks cross below the SMA, this is a bearish signal and could, again, be interpreted as a buy or sell signal. The price may continue trending downward in the short term, or it may be ready to reverse course. This is an example of when it's useful to observe multiple indicators together to get a clearer picture of which possibility is more likely. We'll show you a concrete example in our next video after we introduce momentum indicators to the mix. To add a simple moving average to your stock chart in WebBroker, start by going to Research, Tools, then Charts, and enter the name or symbol of a stock. Then, under Chart Controls, Go to Upper Indicators and select Simple Moving Average from the drop-down menu. SMAs are calculated based on the time period you apply, and you can adjust the settings by clicking SMA in the top left-hand corner of the stock chart. For example, if you set a value of 50 on a chart that displays daily candlesticks, then the Simple Moving Average will be calculated from the average closing price of the last 50 days. This calculation is repeated every time a new candlestick is shown on the chart. Generally, the longer the data period, the less chance of false signals and noise, and the shorter the time period, the more responsive the SMA will be to price changes. The Exponential Moving Average, or EMA, is also an upper trend indicator. It's calculated similarly, except that more recent data points are weighted more. This is useful for traders prioritizing the price trend of more recent price points. To add it to your chart, select Exponential Moving Average from the Upper Indicators drop-down menu. Again, you can choose the value you want to input in the top left-hand corner of the chart. Learn more about trend indicators by going to Research, Markets, Technicals, the Education icon, and then Indicators. And stay tuned for our next video where we'll go into momentum indicators. For even more information, check out our upcoming webinars and live master classes on technical analysis.